M0FXB, welcome to my channel, playing around with SDR Uno. I think I've got a tip here for you. If you've loaded your RTL SDR with SDR Uno and you're not getting clear signals on HF, this is the tip. What you do is go up here onto the top left panel here, click, where is it, options. At the top there it says select input, but if you go down lower, now obviously select input, you need to make sure you've, you've selected real tech here, look. There's a shortcut for that, you can actually click on the click on this square. When you click on it, make sure it's highlighted in red, see that red writing, you can click H, and it brings it up as a shortcut, but, and then there's other settings here. But, the thing that's really important is when you click options, see it says here, swap IQ channels, make sure you've selected the correct one, so if we just click swap now and turn up the volume nothing there options swap The other tip is if you start SDR Uno and there are no windows, you will always get this main window. Start to click SP1, SP2 and windows will appear. You can move these windows around anywhere you like. Some of them you can resize like the main one here. At the bottom you've got these selections, look, SP, WF, SP and WF and then combo. You can also zoom in and out the spectrum, if you see that. Okay, zoom in and you can see, you know, around the frequencies that you've selected. You can scroll with your mouse or you can type up the top here, the frequency. You can also select the different modes. On the right here, we've got this control panel with all the AGC, noise blanker, noise reduction, ETC. Squelch, to make that work, you do need to select it. Otherwise, if it's not selected and you go up, nothing happens. You've got, with the, I mean, my RTL SDR dongle, these are £30, I've got the version 4 here. Now, to get version 4 working, you do have to add a, a DLL file in your documents, which is here. And I'll put a download in for this. You need this one here and this one here, this is for version 4, there's a separate, a different DLL file for version 3 SDR, otherwise buy yourself an SDR Uno and it does everything for you and, and works amazing. I've got the Duo here and I'll do videos on that separately. Volume, bands here, these little grids, and these, these grids are, more, are a simplified version from the main SDR Uno, so if we click 20 here. 20 meters, nothing's happening. Getting lots of fives, so clear. There you are, that worked that time. Turn it up. Haven't been on 20 today. You can move, click on the... And you can swipe this across as well. It looks like an, uh, a ruler, doesn't it? It's only a 20 metre length of wire, so it's not that great. Now the other one is, going back to the options, if we select IQ, so that's the, the wrong one, I'm pretty sure now we can type in our frequency like 70 centimetres or 2 metres, 1, 4, 5, dot 600. FM. Let me put that across, has it? So let's put it here. So yeah, you just click up here where my mouse is, type in 145. You have to get uh, quite a lot of noughts in here. Oh, I can't let me put any more in now. Normally you have to put in the dot, the dot, the noughts afterwards, and you hit 
enter and there it is it's here play let's see if we can get WR so we'll just go up here takes a bit of getting used to with these keypads and you, you know your mouse as well let's try this one four five dot six hundred turn it up a bit FM we've got squelch remember to, to highlight it in white not much activity yeah well that's nowhere near it is it so I think that's enough for now I just wanted to show you the main thing is if you're not getting HF to go options and just swap from I to Q okay bye for now and then you got this mode one here left channel right channel seven three all the best